transformation of the ancient Egyptian to the form and nature of the nether world is so diverse and obscure. He depended on his vivid imagination to imagine all what he likes and dislikes of events that may happen to the deceased. So to his creed of the existence of eternal life and the reward and punishment of what he offered in his materialistic life, there was a clear effect shown in his care to picture this eternal life and to expatiate upon describing the eternal fate of the acquitted ones and the living in bliss in the kingdom of Osiris with the gods and the good spirits and the warning of the bad punishment of the guilty ones who await a mysterious unknown fate of torture and hell. The seriousness of this matter reached the level of imagining how the deceased can overcome these fears and difficulties during his journey in the nether world, which has appeared through its description that it's a long journey filled with dangers. It required readiness and ammunition by good deeds in life and knowing by heart many spells and secrets of this world and its path so that the deceased can cross in safety to reach the kingdom of Osiris. This view has changed from time to time, for it appears through the pyramid's texts, the domination of the optimistic view over the pessimistic one, although they both existed together in these texts. That view was mostly confined to kings and their journey, either accompanying the sun god or the gods but in the same time, it ignored pointing out the destiny of the common people during the Old Kingdom. The two views continued clearer during the Middle Kingdom era. The gold of the pharaohs on tour in 10 cities and it started in Paris at the Grand Hall de la Villette from April 7th till September 6th. Visitors discover the life, reign and legacy of uh, Ramses the 